Hey, what's going on, ministry? Children, I have a very important question for you. When you was growing up, when you were little kids, do you really remember the very first word that maybe your mom or your dad told you? Well, if it happens to be no, then that's it. Because trust me, who don't remember? No, don't do that. No, come here. No, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't pull that cord on that TV. You're going to bust your head wide open. Well, no was a word of foundation. It is a word that gets you going. It, it, it stops you and makes you think. It's a correction kind of word. Our earthly parents were given that word to keep us from actually getting ourselves either hurt, maimed, or killed. Well, our Heavenly Father uses that word to correct us while we're here, while we're here visiting. Problem is, like spoiled children when we were little and our parents are yelling no at us and we keep doing what we want, we still do the same thing. God says no to some of our prayers and we take that hurtfully and we start doing it anyhow. But have you noticed every time you move forward without the Lord's permission, you seem to fail at everything you do? Well, let's jump to, let's get into the book of James. Turn to chapter 4 and we're going to start at chapter 3 and we'll read... In the New King James Version, it says, You ask and do not receive, because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures, adulterous and adulteresses. Now, when he says that, he's not talking about that you're going around having a list of affair on somebody. He's talking about you're having an affair on God. You're giving into your own needs. He says, do, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? It means that you're far away from God. You're more concerned about these earthly pleasures. Whoever, whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously? But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says... Now, I want you to turn to, real quick, you can find this in the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 29. He says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. When we pray, we must realize we must humble ourselves before the Father. When he tells us no, he knows exactly where he wants us to be. It ain't that he doesn't want you to receive something. Jesus Christ himself says, if you ask it in my name... The Father will deliver. He'll give it to you. But He'll only give you the things that He knows that are going to advance you, not hold you back. He wants you to be a success for Him, not a failure for you. Now jump back in, in the book of James. Let's, move, let's go backwards to chapter 1. Start at verse, chapter 1, verse 16. And it says, Do not be deceived, be my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. That means there's no question what he gives you. What he wants to give you, there's no question. You'll know it. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creation. Like I said, he wants you to be a success for him, not a failure for you. Now, do you remember when you read, when we read, when you read about Lot? Now Lot, he was told to get out of the city, grab his family and go because the Lord was going to send his angels with great vengeance to level it. When he grabbed his family, he was running up the hill and they were on that path. And well, what happened? Lot's, he, God said, do not turn around. Well, that's basically saying, hey, check it out. You want to turn around? No. Well, what happened to Lot's wife? She turned into a pillar of salt. Instead of becoming a, 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 the, the, the flavor of the earth that the Lord wanted, she turned around thinking of what was behind her. No. When the Lord says no to something, that's because he's wanting you to have much more than you think you're possibly worth. Quit worrying about the no. Once a no is in fact, it's your past. And what's God say about your past? Leave it behind you. Keep your eyes on the prize, people. This has been Barry coming at you. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. Till next time, God bless.